Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Little Nightmares 2 tutorial. We are going to go through where all of the hats are located in order, so let's play. There are 12 hats in the game. Hat number one is the paper bag hat and you will get this by default once you start the game. Hat number two is the Makujin mask. Makujin mask. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry. This is a pre-order bonus. If you pre-ordered the game, then you will have this hat in your inventory at the start of the game. Hat number three is the raccoon hat. You can find this in chapter one inside of the hunter's house. Right after you leave the kitchen, head down the hallway and then to the left. Once you are in this room, the hat is sitting on the rug. You will just need to pick it up and then it'll be added to your inventory. Hat number four is the gnome hat. This is only available with the Little Nightmares 2 DLC. If you have the DLC, the gnome hat is in the attic of the hunter's house in chapter one. Once you collect the key from the attic, a gnome will run past you to the left. Go back to the room with the taxidermy woman who you pulled the crank from. Yeah, the one you ripped off the arm of. Mm -hmm. Climb on the broken mirror and jump on the ledge under the window. From there, grab the ledge right above the window and up into an another level in the attic. You will see the gnome run to the right and behind some luggage. Open the luggage on the floor and the gnome will run out and to the right. Climb up on the crates under the cardboard box and this will cause a gnome to jump out of the cardboard box and into the dresser on the left. Open the dresser drawer and the gnome will run right. Climb on the seat and jump on it a few times to make the gnome run out and to the right, knocking a pitcher over and revealing a hole to crawl through. Crouch and go through this hole in the wall and then head right. Once you have gone far enough, the gnome will light a match lighting your way. In this area, the gnome will follow you as long as you follow the path. So start by going up and then to the right and then down. Once the gnome is on the shelf and looks like they can't go any further, grab Grab the cart that has some boxes on it and pull it towards where the gnome is so the gnome can jump on the cart. Now push the cart back to the right, over to the other shelves, continue right with the gnome, and the gnome will then open the gate that is blocking your way. Go through the gate. The gnome then will light a lantern. Now you are able to pull the switch and this is going to light the entire area. You're gonna head out of this area and back to the left, over by where the gnome jumped on the cart. When you get to this area, there is a dresser that has a drawer sticking out uh, on the bottom of the screen. You'll be able to pull it out and climb up on this dresser to where the gnome started. Follow the path climbing up on the shelf and continue right, walking on the boards in between the shelves. When you reach the location of where the gnome was by the switch, the gnome will be gone, but the gnome hat will be there for you to pick up. Once you pick up the hat, the gnome will push the board open on the right for you to climb up and exit. So from where the hat was, jump down and go to the right and climb up the boards and into the hole in the wall where the gnome was. Once in the hole, climb all the way down to the floor and pull the board on the left that is blocking the hole in the wall. Once you pull it off, climb in the hole. Now you are at the beginning of where you first entered the attic and you can leave. Long drawn out, but I hope that helped. Hat number five is the rain hat. You will find this in chapter one in the woods on the other side of the gap where you had to pull the bridge up and let six jump across and then you jump across and grab six's hand and she pulls you up the rain hat is in the gate hanging from the tree you will climb on top of the boxes and then jump onto the hanging cage once you are on top of the hanging cage jump a few times and it will knock the cage down to the ground thus opening the door on the cage it just knocks it off then you're able to enter it and grab the rain hat hat number six is the soccer ball hat in chapter two, right before you enter the school. Once you move the dumpster to reach a playground area, the hat is on the dumpster by the front door of the school. You just need to pick it up before you climb the sheets into the school window on the right. Hat number seven is the tin can hat, which is found in chapter two in the school library. After riding the elevators and you made it through some vents, you will reach a library. You can't miss it is where all the books are at, right here. Once you drop into the library, you'll grab the roll 
rolling ladder and move it one shelf to the right and then climb up this ladder and the tin hat is on the left once you reach the shelf on top. Hat number eight is the teddy bear hat. This is located in chapter three, the hospital. Once you finish tuning the TV and pass the x-ray machine, you'll reach a room that's full of toys. There will be a stuffed animal in the middle of the table. Climb up on the shelves on the far right and pick up the teddy bear hat. Hat number nine is the bandage hat. You can find this in chapter three, the hospital. After you get past the first encounter with the doctor and you fall from the ceiling into the morgue, you will go through the locker. Yes. I researched that term and the name for the individual holding cells for the bodies in a morgue is called the locker. Anyways, once you go through the locker to the left side of the morgue, you will go to the left side of the table in the middle of the room and open the bottom locker to find the hat. You will just need to pick it up. Hat number 10 is a mail carrier hat, which is located in the Pale City in chapter four. Right after you pick up the remote control, you will enter the room that is full of letters and packages. We're gonna call it the mail room. Once in this room, drop into the hole in the middle of the room, climb up the mountain of letters on the left, and go through the vent. Once inside the vent, you will see the hat. Just pick it up. Hat number 11 is the newsy hat. The newsy hat. We're just calling it the newsboy cap which is located in chapter four, The Pale City. Once you go through the alley and into a toy store, you will find a shopping cart. Push that shopping cart to the left over by the shelf and climb up and go towards the doggy on the wall. That is, you know, that. It is sitting on top of some packages. Just pick it up to collect it and add it to your inventory. Now, quick tip, if you push the shopping cart down on the ramp before you pick up the hat, you're gonna have to probably go back to last checkpoint I don't know if it's going to let you, but once that cart is down the ramp, you can't push it back up. Believe me, I tried. Hat number 12 is the fedora hat or the hat that Indiana Jones wears, and this is the last hat you will get. In order to get this hat, you must complete the game and just start the game up again. You can even start your same game, but from chap whatever chapter, and you'll see it in your inventory. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it helps you out. If it did, please don't forget to press that like button it helps out a ton. Also, if you want to see more of this or more from me, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave me a comment. I would love to read them. I will see you in the next one. Bye!